As you all know, we need food to gain energy and we need energy to carry out our daily life activities. Hey there, I am Lakshita Gar, your science teacher. And in today's class, we will be studying about food and where does it come from. The topics that we will be studying in today's video are food variety, food materials and sources, plant parts and animal products as food, what do animals eat and some of the important definitions related to food. Let us first try to understand what is ingredient. Those substances or materials that are required to produce a dish are called ingredients. Example, atta or flour and water are the two ingredients required to make a chapati. Now let us discuss about the food materials and their sources. Basically, there are two major sources of food. They are plants and animals. The example of plant sources are roots, leaves, stems, fruits, seeds, flowers, etc. Whereas, the example of animal sources are milk, meat, fish, poultry, eggs, etc. In this slide, you can see the examples of the food provided by plants and animals. You can pause the video for some time and note down the food materials provided in the slide. Can you guess some of the parts of the plant that we use as food? Yes, you guessed it right. Leaf, flower, fruit, stem and roots are the parts of the plant that we use as food and these parts of the plant are called edible parts of that plant. Some of the edible plant parts and, and their examples are given in the slide. You can pause the video here for some times and note down the example. In this slide, we will discuss what do animals eat. On the basis of what do animals eat, we divide them into three categories. The first one is herbivores. The second one is carnivores and the last is omnivores. Let us discuss about the definitions. First, we have the herbivores, that is plant eaters. They only consume plant parts. Examples are cows, goats, deer, giraffe, etc. Next we have the carnivores, that is meat eaters. They only consume meat of other animals. Example, lions, tigers, vultures, etc. And in the last we have omnivores, that is animals who eat both plant parts and meat products. Example, humans, beers, etc. Let us now discuss about some of the important definitions related to food. The first is nectar. A nectar is a juicy liquid secreted within flowers and is sucked by bees and is made into honey by them. Sprouting, the process by which seeds shoot out small white structures as way of growth is called sprouting. Cellulose. It is a substance that is found in the cell walls of a number of plants. It is an indigestible fiber and is found in grass. Enzymes. It is defined as a chemical substance that helps in bringing about changes to certain other substances without undergoing any changes in themselves. In today's video, we studied about food variety, food material and resources, plant parts and animal products as food, what do animals eat and in the end, 
we discussed about some of the important definitions related to food thanks for watching and don't forget to like share and subscribe our youtube channel